and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, February 13th, 2018. Just want to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice, not making any recommendations always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. Hope you had a nice relaxing weekend, well-deserved after the price action of last week. Looks like we had a little bit of a relief rally yesterday. Will it hold? We will see. But with that, let's get into today's video. If you're a regular viewer, then you well know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I use it as my simple proxy for the markets overall. As long as the Russell's moving higher, I'm good to add names to my watch list. If it's moving lower, I'm sitting tight or getting defensive. So for the purposes of our video today, starting out, I took away all my drawings because I think it's really important to note we're looking at the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And this is the five-year monthly chart, so it's the big picture look. We've been talking in our videos about the candle for the month of December having been a doji. And then we had that strong price action in the month of January until the last few days which created this wick at the top and so far for the month of February red candle shaping up although it's making a valiant effort uh, in this area with this long wick but what I'm noting is I use this blue line as my guide which is the 8 day EMA I use it on the monthly weekly and daily charts should the uh, selling continue we're only halfway through the month so there's lots of time for this to recover but should it start to get ugly again and the candle for the month of February close below my blue line, that will be very interesting to me. If we get a monthly close below the blue, hmm, that's worth paying attention to. So with that, I'm going to put my lines back on. I just wanted you to see the naked chart to see how it's behaving here. But I'm going to put my lines back on so we can see the areas of support and resistance that we've been keeping an eye on. So here we go. The blue line we're kind of ignoring for now. We're still on the monthly chart. These are monthly candles. This is long-term support resistance, so not really paying attention to it too much. The orange line is medium, which held price in through all of 2017. And we drew this pink line in a couple of weeks ago as shorter-term support resistance, as well as this black diagonal line, which will look become more clear when I move it to the smaller time frame. But for now, this black diagonal line here is super important, at least to me, because it corralled price through all of 2017, and then in the latter part of the year, price went up and over this black diagonal line, was able to stay there until now. So I think that's worth noting. I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the two-year weekly. And... Here's that same orange line that, as you can see, acted as support down here. The new pink line that is shorter term support resistance and the blue 8-day EMA. We're looking at the weekly candles now, but it's interesting to see how it pushed price up and over this black diagonal line, which was support, it's now resistance. And then we drew this diagonal line in here saying, look, if the Russell's going to continue this uptrend, it's going to need to get through this diagonal line this way and move higher and reclaim this line, which is really important. I want to see it reclaim this line. So we're looking at the weekly. Worth noting the swing low over here from October, beginning of November, here is where we are now. So it's either going to be, it's already bled through a little bit, but it managed to hold yesterday. So for me, these weekly candles, this one shaping up right now, it's only Tuesday, is going to be interesting to see. Will it get rejected here and roll lower? In which case, support is going to be down here back at our orange line will come into play. So I'm going to move it away from the two-year weekly to the six-month daily. So you're going to be able to see why I think this line's important. We came in and Friday we had that bounce off. Everyone probably knows the bounce off the 200-day on the S&P. So we had that nice bounce on the Russell. We had a little bit of follow through yesterday, um, but we are still trading below the 8-day EMA and we've lost this area of support. So we're, the futures, last time I looked, I'm filming this at about quarter to nine, 
on Tuesday morning the futures are red so will we roll lower from here or will we come up a little bit higher and touch the bond underside like we did last week where we retested this diagonal line and it failed when we if we do get that uh, thrust higher will it hold or will it roll and fail again so it's trading in this wedge here down at the pink line that I think is really important should we start to lose support here I will look to get defensive using we're looking at the IWM which is the ETF that goes long the Russell I will start to look at perhaps taking a position in RWM which is the reverse ETF and I can draw some lines of support in here and then a little wedge taking place here and say look the reverse is true if RWM starts to pick up and it's up and over the blue and it trades up and out of this wedge that would be interesting not making any suggestions whatsoever just something that I'm keeping an eye on the other chart that I wanted to show you that I think is really important now I'm going to move it back to the bigger time frame are high yield bonds my proxy for that is HYG which is the ETF for the high yield corporate bond what I want to show you is how this looks on the quarterly chart so five-year quarterly chart beautiful uptrend but look last quarter we had this candle now these are candle uh, quarterly candles that suggests a little price exhaustion not surprising after this run up but it's trading flat quarterly candle that would suggest a perhaps top we will see but that's price exhaustion to me and here's where we are right here right now on this one why do I refer to this because it's just me but I refer to this one uh, as a reflection of uh, liquidity in the market when uh, high yield bonds are trading in a healthy manner that's okay when it's if it starts to lose this area of support this orange line here now we're looking at the five-year monthly um, that would be something that would be interesting to me if it loses this area so we're looking at the five-year monthly now let me switch it over to the nine month daily because you can see that last week boom look at that long whip now it held but if it starts to roll here and lose this area of support which was important back here in August it was important here in November um, then that would be something I'd be keeping an eye on and uh, a little bit concerning so we'll see how things shape up but I just wanted to show you that chart as well so with that let me switch it back to the IWM I use the blue line as my guide when price is up and over the blue and holding support and as a reminder this diagonal line at least for me is support I'm adding new names to my watch list and looking um, optimistically to the long side but since it's lost support and is trading below the blue I'm looking to get defensive in this area and watching this little wedge right here so it'll be an interesting next couple of days I'm keeping an eye our next video goes out on Thursday um, good luck till then it will be interesting we've got to be on our toes